This apes has too many signals. The RSI is diverging, ATR average, true range. Implied volatility increasing, all moving averages compressing, all moving averages compressing on all time frames. Oh yeah, on top of that, the cost of borrow is still a thousand. On the threshold list, short seller silent, draw them on Twitter. Judge decision soon. On top of that, AIM sees a 95 short score. Everything is starting to line up and point to the right direction. Get ready, apes. This ape says math isn't math in our corner of the stock market, and it sure doesn't seem like it at times. They said AMC is the first stock in history where 80% of the float is locked, meaning that 80% of the float is owned by retail investors or more. And for the most part, the holders are just continuing to hold their shares. They're not really trading them. For me personally, I haven't sold a single share of AMC that I've owned since I bought my first share years ago. Now on top of that, 40% is on loan, 25% is shorted, and 50% is in fails to deliver. And it's oversold. If you take it all into consideration, this play does seem more and more bizarre by the day. It seems to be that there's some massive manipulation going on, and hopefully only a matter of time until this whole thing gets sorted out. This ape says the people will never sell Ape, AMC, or GME shares. The criminal's only hope is that retail gives up. Their hopes and dreams are crushed because retail can literally hold forever. We don't have ever-increasing borrow fees. We aren't over leveraged and we're out of capital. We are just holding onto our shares. People like you and I are just holding onto our same shares that we've had for well over a year now, and all we have is time. We are not racing against some sort of clock that's ticking down where a short borrow fee is increasing because the shares are becoming harder and harder to short. We are just sitting here and waiting, and all we have is time. This ape says, this is why there has been so much FUD, a lawsuit, and an endless delay surrounding the ape conversion and reverse split. Shorts are done if AMC raises anywhere near 16 billion. Tick tock, tick tock. They posted this article. It says AMC's ape conversion settlement could lead to a potentially massive $16 billion equity raise, says analyst. Then in the article, it says at the recent trading price of AMC shares accounting for the aftermarket performance last week, this would indicate it for a potential as much as $16 billion in equity raised by the company World at it. So is this the main reason on why there's been so much FUD and so much shoring as of recently? This is going to be absolutely huge if AMC is able to raise even a portion of this much money. 